Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel Grammar Fun. My name is Jaya and we will be learning grammar together. The chapter which we are going to do today is chapter number 4, Don't Give Up. Now I want all of you to take your textbook and open it to page number 40. Your textbook to page number 40. Please mention today's date. and we'll start it is a reading comprehension first you have to tick the correct answer it is from the poem so first question is this poem is about those who don't try not giving up succeeding always so it is about not giving up either you can underline it or you can tick the answer so it is about don't give up so the answer is not giving up the second one they can keep up means the birds can keep their wings fly a little longer the next time become strong so they can keep up actually it means they can fly a little longer the next time so you can underline or take that answer now we go to question number 3 the speaker is talking about birds because why is the speaker talking about birds she likes birds she wants us to be like birds it is a good example now there is nothing said about liking of birds and there is nothing said about that she wants us to be like birds so it is it was actually a good example of the poem so you can underline or tick it is a good example question number 4 another example in the poem is about the wind being proud or being strong like a tree that is the third paragraph if i am not wrong the third stanza sorry if i am not wrong so it is the another example is about being strong like a tree fifth one winning something that is very easy doesn't get you a prize make people think highly of you make you a winner so it doesn't make people think highly of you it doesn't have any value that you are doing something very easy and you are getting everything so that doesn't have any value just so it doesn't make people think highly of you you can underline that answer now we go to page number 41 read the lines and answer the questions that follows so first we'll read the four lines then there are questions given and you have to write the answer so first one is Though the sturdy tree has known many a wind that bowed her she has risen again and grown loftier and prouder so this is the stanza from the poem so from these four lines your first question is pick the word which means strong in the first line so in the first line though the sturdy tree has known which is the word which means strong and that word is sturdy so how will you write the answer the word which means strong in the first line is sturdy second question what does the wind do to the tree so the wind bows or bends the tree bowed her second line many a wind that bowed her so it bows or bends the tree third question how does the tree show her strength after being bowed down so that is the third and the fourth line the tree shows her strength by rising again and growing taller and stronger so rise risen again and grown loftier and prouder we are just changing it by rising again and growing taller loftier means taller and prouder means stronger now second one gaining victory from defeat that's the test that tries you that's the last two lines so first question how do you think we can gain victory from defeat so we can gain victory from defeat by not giving up by trying harder and succeeding so if you don't give up if you try harder and you succeed then only we can gain victory from defeat 
second one do you think trying after losing is more difficult yes it is more difficult to try after losing most often you tend to lose heart and the will to succeed once you fail it is very difficult for you to try again because you become sad you don't want to do it you feel very lost so that is the second answer third one what does the poet mean by that's the test that tries you so that's the last line of the poem and what is the poet meaning by that line it means that the real test is in not giving up hope and continuing to try tirelessly to succeed that means the real test is that we should not give up our hope and we should continuously try to succeed okay now we go to page number 42 listening so this is the listening part you have to listen and take the correct word so here the words which are given in bracket are actually called homophones homophones are words which sound the same but different meaning and different spelling the sounds of both the words will be same but both of them will have different meaning and different spelling so in this you have to understand the sentence and say which is the correct one the first one i am not sure i will be able to attend the party so the first weather is for if and the second weather is climate so we have the answer that is the first one w h e t h e r so you can underline that second one my grandmother's knees or knees are hurting badly so the first knees is the part of your body okay the second one is actually your relation sister's baby or brother's baby okay so grandmother's knees that will be the first one k n e e s third one please take the clothes clothes of the line it might rain so the first one this wrong the second one is correct c l o t h e s fourth one if we tell lies nobody will believe believe us any more so in this believe is a correct one that is b e l i e v e fifth one the vent vent above the window is open the first vent is actually the hole and the second vent is going so obviously it is the first answer v e n t number 6 the polar bear spends most of his time at sea the first bear means nothing the second one is the animal so the second one is the correct answer seventh one he applied the brake brake and the car stopped the second brake which is given over there is to brake something to destroy something the first one is to stop so the first one is correct eighth one the tortoise won and the hare lost the race first hair is what is on your head the second one is the rabbit so the second one is correct h a r e now let us go to the speaking part which is in page number 43 you don't have to write anything in this speaking is only speaking this is also your homework for the chapter some children cry when they lose a game now if you did not win you will start crying some give up playing the game if they lose once so once they lost the game next time they will not even try to play it some like to try till they succeed but there are some who likes to try till they get it what kind of a person are you so my question is what kind of a person are you in this do you cry when you lose a game or do you give up or do you still try talk about yourself so you just have to talk for 1 minute so you have to prepare a 1 minute video in your mobile and you can send that to me in whatsapp not in the group you can send that to me in the whatsapp 
I hope you have understood the chapter. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.